So now for better order. Okay. There you go. There we are. Okay. The doctor went like this and fell. He said there's no bone broke. He didn't think so, but uh, but I could. You're right handed though, aren't you? Yeah, right handed. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I have some sniffer snuff because I had sinus things. I couldn't push the thing, and I couldn't. We're not going to be working. Oh, that goes into the in. left into the Isle of Wight. The Isle of Wight, or if you go to the right, go to Lighthouse Sound. Oh, all the way up there. And, and, that's and then with look thing? back at, no, that's not. Yes. But, but you're painting yeah. Ocean City is. If I'm on. We don't care where you're standing. All right. As oh. long as what you're painting oh. is the Ocean City surrounds. Oh, okay. Because it is hard yeah. to begin with parking. But you're yes. talking about the painting details. Thank you very much. In the back of Road so if you go into the restaurant and in the back of the restaurant, we can't, and you can you paint in that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can go down to Assateague. Oh, and on the right hand side, there is a place where they rent kayaks. Mm -hmm. Right hand side. Wait, wait, as you go into Assateague? You go into the Assateague in the National Park, not the Maryland Park. Have you done this before? Uh -huh. Okay, so you know what's in your. Uh -huh. Susan C, I know I've been a little nice. Thank you, enjoy. I used to do framing years ago, and it just gets to be too much because everybody likes different colors. I can't believe how late I am this morning. It's like, ah, I'm usually painting by now. There's such variety. Well, the people are great, for one thing. And there's a lot of life here. It's getting there, don't you think? Everything's here that you could possibly want to paint outside. Strip of the beach, the sand back when the sun's hitting it. When the sun comes back out, there's going to be a shadow of the tree on the boardwalk. And I'm going to put one or two people in there sitting eating ice cream cones. So if it's uh, sunny, I'm good. And if it storms, I'm good. But if it's lightning, I'm fried. What I like about all the events is a camaraderie. Uh, the artists know each other, you know, you, you, I always attuned it to uh, like being like professional golfers. Mm -hmm. They all, they, they go every week, the, the golfers, a PGA Tour goes someplace every week. It's the same golfers pretty much every week. Mm -hmm. They know each other, their families know each other. Uh, they go out to eat, they drink, they travel together, mm -hmm. but they're competing, but they're friends. This is my second year here. I, I'm new to the area from Pittsburgh, you know. I really didn't start painting again seriously until about 15 years ago. 16, 17. Hmm.
guess I was really in awe last year, and, and this year too, I'm sure, of um, what these people do. I guess maybe because I'm a little sensitive to the fact that these people do this, enrich our lives, and they really should get some money to buy the groceries, you know? <laughs> but yeah. I think, I, I do remember last year, I was painting just in, in Anne's backyard, I'm gonna do, do this lovely floral thing again. But at one point, for an instant, I forgot where I was. Really? I did forget where I was. <laughs> yeah, I was really, I can get really into it. So I do love it. I do love it. And um, it's different doing the plein air because it's a lot of pressure and you've got all your equipment and it's hard to stay focused on the painting when you're worrying about your easel falling over. <laughs> <laughs> this week with me in a couple of days is kind of my first opportunity to paint down here really? in plein air, but I expect it to be the water. Both the marshes are yeah. beautiful, boats and docks and harbors. When you talk about the fishing boats coming in tomorrow night, and that really intrigues me. I would love to be able to paint um, something like that. But right, right out here, that view that you have with the, Just the right buildings down the, and, the, and the boat yeah. stops, mm -hmm. and then the yeah. contrast with the marshland right across the little um, waterway is beautiful. That's a nice retirement job. Yeah, I think so. I'm just in for the experience. Wow, you're going to town. Yeah, it's a bit off more than I can chew. But I love skipjacks, but it's more than I can chew right now, too, I think. <laughs> Me too. Well, you know, the light and all that stuff changes so quickly that watercolor is the only medium that kind of allows you to, you know, paint and respond quickly that's that's what I actually like about it you can't you can't spend a lot of time dawdling and you know noodling over the stuff you got to get in and, and just do, it. Yeah, do it for me plein air is really not necessarily trying to copy what you see in front of you but just trying to use it as inspiration and then working from there When I moved to the city, I had no room that was a good painting area. So I heard about plain air and I started joining them. I guess it's been five or six, maybe seven years ago. That I started going outside with this plain air group and it's, it's challenging. Do I want to put that in or not? All right, I have to stop and think about this a while. I like to see things that catch the light and uh, things that are just a little, like a little bit of Americana. A couple of years in the early 80s. Yeah, well that's when, that's when the, I saw you, that's the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I thought I was going to cook. Well, I'd like to be able to have at least, I think we're able to submit four. I'm hoping, hoping to get four that I can, that I can put a frame on anyway. I keep painting to try to fill in the, the spaces. You, you, uh -huh. you draw it in, it's like a coloring book.
the variety, it's everything. Yeah, between the beach, the people, the boardwalk. I was down at Assentee this morning, mm -hmm. uh, went up to the Delaware line for a while. This park has been blowing me away for a couple days. summer when uh, everything inland looks green on green on green the colors around here are fabulous so it really is in the summer this is where I love to run to the beach um, I, I work pretty good in solitary too so I'm very comfortable either way. I used to draw caricatures up on this same boardwalk oh, really? right over there for many, many years. And people always were watching you paint or draw, or, or in that case, draw. And you just get accustomed to the idea that there's somebody behind you watching. Well, I went out to Colorado for a three-week painting trip, and it turned into five months of painting and just camping and hiking and traveling. Um, and I, I remember I was in, in the Grand Tetons, and um, I had my trunk open and all these paintings there, and someone bought a painting out of the trunk of my car, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can, I can sell my work. If I can sell my work, I can live off of it. I live nearby. I live in Bethany. So, you know, I think that people here would like to know what's going on in their community. I had a couple people actually here, in fact, who said, were you, were you painting on Coastal Highway yesterday? And someone else came by and said, I saw your paintings. They're really great. Keep it up. Well, they didn't see my paintings. I haven't been here except for like an hour at that point. But there are enough of us out that they see us there, but they don't know why we're there, and they don't know it's more than one person. Bugs started and Yikes. people were everywhere with their cars and I just kind of thought, so I didn't finish it, I left. And went back. You know, you need to make a plan and execute the plan and if you get lost along the way or you dawdle and you, you change your mind midway, it's usually not a good idea. Since it's watercolor, I don't want that big green thing to run all down the street, down yeah. the paper and make, make me cry. I'm too close to being done for that, you know. Well, I was an art teacher. Oh, <laughs> I taught uh, grade school or kindergarten through eighth for 20 some years. I love painting boats. I grew up on the water, so I like painting boats. But I like painting the beach, I like painting people at the beach. Oh, they got here. This is the uh, OC Plain Air, uh, and 
We are checking artists in for a wet paint sale tonight. I mean, I'm here all the time, and actually, I, I paint yeah. outdoors a lot, but more in the spring and fall, and it's a little bit cooler than the last few days have been. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The crystal is like, like the opposite of like, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's just like nice. really like buttoned up, yeah. nice and tied, like knit. I made That's a frame cute. for this and it turned out to be an eighth of an inch too small. Okay. Isn't that an interesting plant? Look how it's these tiny little flowers mm -hmm. and then this it's big bloom out of it. I don't believe so. You can take a look. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Yeah. You can tell there's two little birds in the bottom. It's coming with it. It's a nice variety of work. Just figure out who's... We have three left. Mm -hmm. And it's a little late now, so after the game. So the paintings are in here and in a yeah, room upstairs. Yeah, upstairs. Well, we started here and so start looking.
up the gallery once they hung and I was so impressed by the quality of work. Um, some watercolors that I loved, oil paintings. And so I, I just feel very lucky and, and honored to be chosen. You, you don't want to ever go there, you don't want to think about it because if you do, you're, you're putting yourself at the mercy of a judge. It's one person with one opinion. And, so I always try to just paint my best, and if I can stand in front of my painting and feel proud of it, that, that this is good work, then, then I've won. That's all I have to worry about. It's really fun. Um, I don't do like a whole bunch or whatever. I uh, mainly like I teach art, but I just, I think I have a, a really good time coming down here and everybody is just amazing. So I feel really like just fortunate. I'm just like happy and I go home and I'm super happy and it's just cool. I was like blown away by some of the work though. It was so beautiful. Um, some of the painters here are amazing. I don't know. I guess like I feel like painting is like golf or something. Like you just keep doing it and trying it and it's frustrating and then you go back and I don't play golf but I imagine that's what it would be like. It's fabulous and then connects connects people, the artist, people who love art. That, that's, that's what it's about. It's my third quick draw, but last year I um I missed the sign up for the for the actual event. So I wasn't able to exhibit. Uh, so I made sure I got in early this year. That's good. I miss it. So it, was, it felt it was great to see two pieces. I walked in, I walked into the gallery, and two of my pieces were not hanging where I had put them. And I was like, "Where did my work go?" <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Uh, I just uh, I'm about at a point where. Quit at any time, so I'm, I'm not in a panic to, you know. That, you know, sometimes you say, "Oh man, I only got half hour left" or something, but um, uh -huh. I, I can pretty, pretty much quit at any time. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy the people that you paint with because I've really made so many great friends at these events. Satisfied with the work you put out these past few days? Is an artist ever satisfied? It's okay. <laughs> 